In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a laser from laserpointerpro.com, and this is the QK DS6, and this is my first ever 488 nanometer laser. So they sent this out to me for the purpose of doing a video. I'm going to not necessarily call this a review. I'm kind of moving away from calling my laser videos reviews because they're more of a showcase or a feature. Um, I think there's a lot of really talented and more technical people on laserpointerforums.com who do a lot more in-depth technical reviews. So I'm kind of moving away from the review terminology and doing more of laser showcases and features where I show a laser, I show its basic features, I hit it with the uh, LPM, I show it with some some fog machine beam shots, and I give you my, my base level opinions on it, but I'm going to move away from using the word review in these videos. But anyways, they sent out this laser for me to do this video on, and it retails on their site for $160 worldwide free shipping. They advertise it as waterproof, and they also advertise it as 1 watt, which we're definitely going to put to the test with our Laser BA LPM. Um, but yeah, so pretty neat laser, mostly because I've never had this wavelength before. And it comes with one 18650 battery, that's what it runs on, just a single 18650. And one of those cheap little 18650 chargers, which honestly you should probably just throw away. Buy an aftermarket one, like a Tenergy or... I forget the name of the one that I use, but I can link it down below in the video description. But there's definitely way better chargers than the one that's included here. Um, the button is single push on, push off. It does have an adjustable focus on the top, and it unscrews at the very bottom to insert the battery. And that battery goes in negative side towards the lens, positive side towards the button. And there's also a little rubber o-ring in there which would support the claim of waterproofness though i really don't think i'm going to be putting that to the test in this video um just don't want to risk it but that o-ring and the solid host do lead me to believe that this thing is at least water resistant um so there is also a safety label on the side of it which is kind of useless because it's like a general safety label that they use on all of their lasers and it has like little spots that you can fill in the information on the strength and the wavelength except this safety label has none of that information filled in so not really much point in that but as you guys can see there is that beautiful 488 nanometer bluish kind of green color I'm gonna be showing you guys this in a lot of different lighting levels including with a fog machine starting off with full daytime light right here and this thing has some pretty decent beam divergence and good focus on it. Um, when I send it down to that rock wall, which I've measured to be, I think, about 200 feet from where I'm standing, uh, the dot is still significantly small, so pretty good divergence on this one, especially for it being a diode laser. The next one is a somewhat dim indoor setting, and the beam visibility is pretty nice looking down the axis of the laser. We're able to see it. Um, not really from the side at all, but that beam is very nice and tight, that dot is very small, and that 488 color is just beautiful, I really like it, and it's probably just bias on my end because I've never had one before, but it's pretty cool. And moving on to a nighttime setting, we have some nice visibility looking from the axis of the laser and from the side of the laser, and you need to make sure you guys are using laser safety glasses whenever working with a laser pointer, especially one like this. I'll link a good pair in the video description down below. I'm now going to test it with my Laser B A LPM, and I will try to speed up the results for you guys a bit here. So test one gave me a result of about 57, 58 milliwatts. Test number two, 59 milliwatts, and test number three, right about at 59 milliwatts again. So all of my readings with this thing tested between the 57 to 60 milliwatt window, a pretty tight, accurate window right there. So that obviously brings up the very big issue of stated power. And while I'm talking about all this stuff, I'm going to show you guys those beautiful beam shots with the fog machine. But yeah, definitely a huge issue is the advertised power because they're advertising this thing at 1000 milliwatts or one watt. And in reality, it's less than one tenth of that coming in at just 60 milliwatts. So that's definitely something that needs to be corrected. And the other issue I had with this one was the price of $160. I don't really find that to be all that competitive, and I say that because Sanwu Lasers is offering a 488 stated for 60 milliwatts 
at $120. Now, I wasn't able to find out what diode is used in this specific laser because they stated that it was a trade secret, and I can respect that, definitely, but I'm going to assume that Sanwu Lasers is probably using the same diode if theirs is metering in at the same exact wavelength and power. So, yeah, it, it looks to me like Sanwu has the same diode in a different host for $40 less, but to put both of them to shame, I found this one on eBay for $64, and it looks to be the same exact laser I have right here for $160. So if that is the case, that is definitely a big issue that needs to be corrected, and they need to make that price point a lot more competitive. Now, with the advertised power and the cost put aside, I did enjoy this laser. I thought it was a dependable laser, the host was very simple and straightforward, not a lot of moving parts in show, it was very very uh, easy to use, very durable feeling. It definitely seems water resistant, though I'm not going to plunge this thing in water. I just don't feel like risking it. Um, I like that it took an 18650 uh, as opposed to 16340s. I'm a little biased. I do like the 18650 better. And I really did like that 488 color. What I'm showing you guys right here is a beautiful rainbow comparison I was looking forward to doing. Um, going from left to right, we have 445 then we have 473 dpss then we have the 488 then we have a 520 and a 532 so my rainbow definitely is growing here and if i manage to get my hands on another yellow i'll do a huge rainbow and i'll get the 405 in there and the reds too but for now i just wanted to do a blue to green rainbow i also wanted to note that the adjustable focus on this laser worked really well um, there's just certain lasers where you get them and the adjustable focus is just better than other lasers. I was really able to get that that beam and that dot down to a real needle point. And with that being said, the 60 milliwatts was just not enough power to burn. I was not able to light a match even when coloring in the top of it black. So definitely not a burning laser. You still need to use laser safety glasses and be very careful obviously, but this thing will not really start any fires. And I think that's pretty much going to wrap up my thoughts and opinions on this laser. I'm going to include the link on where you can buy this from laserpointerpro.com down in the video description down below. If you guys enjoyed this kind of new style I tried to do with this laser video, um, kind of more fast paced and not trying to get caught up talking about one thing for too long, let me know. And if you enjoyed the video at all, hit that like button down below. If you're new to my channel and you want to see a lot of great laser stuff just like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thank you for watching.